Hi everybody, it's Positive Bluebird and welcome to my holiday randomness. We're going to start off by organizing my son's bedroom and his closet. So here we go. Now obviously as your kids grow, you need to update their room. And with my son's permission, I did so within four days. So we're going to start in his closet. <laughs> It was quite a big mess, and I organized and downsized boxes that were filled with photo albums and old memories, and then these two large trash bags filled with clothes that don't fit my son. They will be donated at the ARC thrift store. And then over here, off to the left where his clothing are at, I made a huge empty space so that I could put the Christmas tree back as a whole with a trash bag over it and then throw the box out. My son said he has no problem with it. And when we moved in, he compromised the back of his closet anyway for all of our holiday decorations and old memorabilia from his childhood and whatnot. So here's what his room looks like now. And my son came home from work and he loved it. He said he has no problem with it. And he actually really prefers it this way because there's a little bit extra space um, in his room as a whole. Okay, see the blue happy face pillow? That is actually a really old donated toy box from when he was six years old. It's like two like car tires, I guess, and it's filled with vintage toys. Um, eventually, we will sift through them to see if he wants to hold on to them or donate them for the holidays. Gerald bought me these um, stickers for gift wrapping. Thank you, Gerald. And then I just threw in these um, little tiny Christmas lights into a plastic recycled bottle with the battery pack on the back. And they're the rechargeable batteries. So I thought that was just a fun little display. And you could carry it around the house and put it room to room. The kids can enjoy it as well. And then I found Gerald's um, childhood ornaments uh, amongst mine. So these will be returned to him. And then I will show you guys um, Gerald's Christmas tree as well. So here you go, after four days, here is our Christmas tree. And then again, here is the snowman and um, snow globe collection that I showed you guys previously. And my little table that I made. And then this green felt flower hanger I found at the thrift store for 99 cents. And then the little blue flower hangers that are for your shower curtain to hang up my wax ornaments. Isn't that awesome? Hey, you never know. I just might keep it up all year long. <laughs> I just thought this was perfect. Um, and the little shower curtain flower things, whatever, the little blue things here. I don't know what you call them. The hooks. Um, those were like 50 cents, you guys. And I had one extra, so I hung it on the divider um, in the dining room that is holding my extra purse and you'll see that in a second but isn't this awesome i just thought what a perfect perfect thing to find there it is hanging up at the top to hold my purse and then we saw these old vintage um they're actually new but they are the old school traditional uh, snowmen and santa claus displays at the grocery store and look in the front of this crane machine. Do you see the Wizard of Oz? Isn't that funny? Now this is what the family and I pitched in together for my Christmas gift. I could not pass this up at the thrift store for $15. It is heavy um, metal that somebody put together. It matches the colors of my living room. And of course, it's a giant poppy to represent the Wizard of Oz. Oh my God, I am so excited about this. So this is my special gift that everybody pitched in uh, together for part of my Christmas gift. I thank my family um, wholeheartedly for this. This is the hallway um, where I'm standing so you can see where it's at. And there is my holiday randomness, you guys. There's more to come in the days ahead. Peace out and stay positive. 
Okay, guys, so Gerald got rid of his really huge vintage microwave that took over the entire countertop and got this brand new one um, from Craigslist. He also made him and his daughter some homemade meatloaf last night, and oh my gosh, why didn't you invite me over? <laughs> looks delicious. So this is what his um, dining room looks like. They will be inheriting a lot of his father's um, old vintage furniture, such as the tall cabinet in the background. So we will be updating you on that down the road. So temporarily, this is what they are dealing with as far as furniture, and they're making it work. So long as they have a roof over their head, that's all that matters. So Gerald is doing really good with DIYs and making his and his daughter home look really inviting and beautiful. And there is their Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I can't handle the tinsel. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.